today we are going to review two of the most famous brands and color pencils the first one is prisma color premium the second one is faber castell polychromos color pencils so um, we are going to see in this video on the differences both the color pencils could give which one is best and which is good for a beginner and which is for an expert so to begin with i start with the prisma color packaging i open it so the prisma color pencils have nice textured 72 colors the one that i have purchased is 72 colors and these are the Sorry about the ones that has lower tips. I've used it twice a couple of times. So here, this is one of the trays, and they have this three nice trays. Nice tin box. This shows up the color codes. Colors. And this is a great product to use. I continue on showing the texture of this pencils later after I show the pack packaging of Faber Castle. So this is the tin of Prisma color pen. Next is the Faber Castle. And this is equally a good packaging as Prisma color. And they also have this nice thing to hold on. And they have three trays as well. One is here, and this is quite helpful to lift it. This and this. So. This also bears three trays. And they are quite new and hence you wouldn't see any used pencils here. This was Faber Castle, and this is not detachable like the one in Prisma Prisma Color, so it's quite easy to you know have it together. I also got this sharpener, Prisma Color's own sharpener, and I've used it a couple of times. I'm sorry about that. So this is quite very helpful to sharp our color pencils in these two tips that we want as per our requirements uh, mostly this is the tip that is used in many of the colorings so I would also show you on how this works for example so I'm taking this pencil and just giving you two shades the first one is this tip It gives a nice sharp tip and this is very useful in our drawings. The second one I'll show you with this tip. So this is the difference between two of the tips. You can use it as per requirement, and it's better to sharp your color pencils with this sharpener than your regular sharpeners or any other mode of sharpening your pencils. This will not break your tips easily, and they are really helpful. Okay, so let's get on to finding the texture of both of the color pencils. 
and find which one is the best so for beginners like me we would be surprised on which one to uh, choose whether it's prisma color or faber castell when we are beginners we are not sure on which one to pick on so hence this video is made for those who are beginners like me i also uh, recommend usage of uh, this stack mode bristol sheets they are really helpful they are very fine and they are extremely wide in color they spread the color so well and it gives nice texture so um, as a beginner like me if you are wondering which is the base that is to be used for color pencils then here this is the one to be used after a lot of research i have come up come up with this obviously this is for beginners and not for experts we shall start with this but for now i'm going to show you how both of the pencils work let's pick same colors from both the competitors this is quite difficult to open let's take it out Let's take the same color. This color, which is yeah, we'll take both of these colors. Taking this from Prisma Premium Premier Color. And same from here. this color okay, there is no a closer color but let's check a similar color for the texture or maybe we can look for the same color as well okay, let's look for another color maybe we can go with the pink this pink and light pink would be a great choice let's see if premier has these colors No, let's take up orange. This one, this one, or a darker shade maybe. This one, no, this one. I'm not finding the similar colors. Let's. This one. First, we are going to test this. This one. So I'm taking this pencil. I'm just trying some layering, and let's see how it works out. These pencils are very rich in color. They give nice texture and creamy finish, and this spreading is really amazing. Yeah, you can keep adding as per, as many layers as you want, and they work really great without any issues. Yes. Look 
like the number of layers that we keep adding to it and it still works fine. Let's try burnishing them out. So they look absolutely cute. And when you keep adding layers, these white little spots, they'll disappear on their own. Just for the just, just in focus and just not being really accurate on how it should be done. I'm just testing the things. Okay. So, this matte premium color has given a nice output. Now let's try out Saber Castle. Maybe I'll try a pink and red this time. So now it's Fibre Castle. I'll be doing tutorials on how to do layering, burnishing, how to use a solvent to mix colors in my upcoming videos. I will also leave the links from where you can buy all the products that I am using right now. I leave in my description box. Faber Castle is easy to have a wider picture. It spreads so lightly, you don't have to put any pressure on them. It is nice, it's doing a great job. Both are similar, but I can find the difference holding the pencils. One must try it out to see the actual difference. What I did earlier with this is burnishing with white pencil, spreading colors with white pencil. That gives a smooth texture and you can hide out the white spots that are there in between this and the texture of this paper that I'm using is not meant for color pencil and that's the reason you see a lot of white faces around here but when you use uh, the crystal papers that I showed I'll be doing uh, tutorials on how to uh, actually color on them with a proper picture I'll come up with a proper picture and I'll do tutorials on them as well for now I'm doing the testing first focus and then see if you white space Let's see how the burnishing of light works out for the Castle. The thing about Faber Castle is they dry quickly. They are not uh, smudgeable as much as Christmas. Uh, and they do not react to temperatures while Prisma sometimes does it does react to some temperatures and it starts spreading out a little bit of color and then you actually do this while you apply the color from it or some of the pigments they stick to your fingers but Faber Castle is quickly dryable this also gives a nice gradient effect Equally good as premium. For color pencils, you can keep adding layers even after burnishing. May it be with a solvent, may it be with a uh, blending, pen, blending pencil. You can still keep adding layers on and off.
difference between both of them. You can see the difference between Faber and Prisma. The main difference is that this is a little bit oil based and hence it quickly you know doesn't spread or uh, doesn't spread as much as Prisma does. But Prisma is uh, wax based and it, hence it tends to a little bit spread still. But uh, table castles they are very vibrant, they give nice pigmentation, very nice pigmentation, and strong pigmentation. Let's try out another color of the dance. Now I'm taking Prisma. Pressures given to the paper, and you can see all the white spots on the colors are disappearing, so they are very good for layering. Same I'm doing for the other color, and the point where both of the colors meet is where you have to do the blending, that's the place where the gradient effect is going to be visible, and that only converts a picture into a beautiful art so you should be very good with blending and blending comes once you start practicing over and over again so yeah layering helps making these colors display. let's use some white pencil over this and check what is the result White pencils are used to really um, lesser down the pigments. It will give you a blurred look, but it is best while you draw skin tones, fur, and other things where the colors need to be subtle. Yeah. So, this is done by Prisma. Or the same procedure with a Faber Castle pencil. Let's see what is the output for a Faber Castle pencil. Okay. Maybe a green. I think green would work good. Let's see the I use layering technique for all most of my drawings and burnishing with white pencil is the next thing that I do and the next one is using a solvent in the upcoming videos I'll show you how to use a solvent to blend your colors and the last one to choose is a blending pencil I'll show all the techniques in my upcoming videos Let's see how the picture turns out 
or giving pressure to the pencils of Faber Castell. Not bad. They are equally good. Okay, so we see this uh, non-transition of both the colors. We see that there are two blocks kept over here, and it's not smoothly blended. Blended. That's when we use a in-between color. Yeah, we use an in-between color to blend the colors and show the transition of gradient. This is one of the methods. Or the second thing that we can do is. Use the white pencil, and the white pencil does wonders to transition of colors. Just give some white shades on the hard color lines, where the transition is happening. Here, the transition is beautiful now. We used three colors to make this transition come alive. That's all for the today's video. Please click on the subscribe button if you like this video and if you would want to have track of all the upcoming videos of Prisma and Faber Castle and many other art ideas. Thank you.